leading up to the 2020 turkey season, I spent my pre-sunrise time listening for roosted turkeys. In four days of scouting, I only heard one gobble. Two days later, I was set up 200 yards from the only bird I'd heard. Well, it's open in the morning. It's still pretty dark out. Got one roosted about 200 yards away. I thought he was closer, but he wasn't making much sound first thing. Now he's gobbling his head off. I know right where he's at. But I got a Jake and a hen out. Hopefully we can pull him our way. Wow, I just heard my first gunshot of opening morning. My bird hasn't flown down yet, though. So continue to wait it out. He's a noisy bugger. I wish he was that noisy when I was scouting him. Well, it sounds like he's not alone. I'm just starting to end clucking. This might not turn out too good for me. 20 till 7 already. Doesn't sound like he's down yet. Well, I kind of think he's flowed down at this point. Obviously, I can't see him. I'm not real optimistic about getting it on film today if it happens. of gobbler.
apparently Aviate X decoys do work. That is a brand new decoy. I've never used it before, and I probably just put some holes in it. Maybe. I don't know. But he was just not happy about it. He had to tell that decoy, you're in my space, buddy. Get out of here. That was awesome. And I apologize. My mesh netting was a little bit over the lens. So the, the, the footage is a little fuzzy, but oh my gosh. It was in tight. With a 100 millimeter lens on, and I might have been zoomed in some, I think. So 100 to 400. So 7 a.m. open in the morning. Got one down. I mean, I can't be happier. That was cool. The only thing would be better if I had a dedicated cameraman or if I was somebody else's dedicated cameraman because that was sweet. I just wish I could have had a little more control of the camera, but I think I did pretty good considering I'm 20 yards away from him and he's been in the wide open for 150 yards looking at me with a hen. Um, wow. That was, that was sweet. For my setup, I should have set up 100 yards further towards that bird. I wasn't sure where he was at. I think there was a coon or something in here making noise in the dark. And uh, he did like a a shot gobble, I guess you could call it. But I mean, he was like barely making a sound, barely made a peep. Um, I mean, it sounded like a little jakey weird thing. I mean, he sounded like a like he didn't know how to gobble, but I'm sure he was just asleep. And it was just a reaction like, a, oh, what was that? <laughs> but. That's how I knew he was here. Um, been scouting for four days, I think, before opening day. I've listened where I parked. I listened for birds for all four of those days. I heard one gobble in those four days. That's where I went. Um, today he was sounding off like a champ, so I guess I just wasn't there at the exact right time. But uh, man, I, I could not be happier with the result of that. Wow. I gotta text my wife, let her know, big calm down. Oh, opening day on 2020, hard to beat this result. Uh, first time I've ever had a bird attack a decoy. I don't usually hunt with Jake's early in the season like this, but I think I'm gonna keep doing it from now on. Um, he was not happy with that Jake, that is for sure. Uh, brand new Avian X, I think it's the XDR, the one with the interchangeable head, the hard body. Uh, Took some of the uh, flocking off his back end, but he paid for it. So, couldn't be happier with the result. Got another tag to fill this season. Uh, might get out a lot more with some other guys and uh, try to film for them now that I got one on the ground this year. So, can't be happier today. Opening day, open morning. Nice Tommy, he's got big spurs. He's got a nice long beard. I don't want to tape with him or anything, but it's got to be pretty close to a foot. Nice bird. 